Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Today I want to talk to you about Verimax. Verimax is a function, it's an algorithm in the classic charge controller that allows you to tailor your absorb time specifically for like off-grid living for uh, things like clouds. Um, clouds going by, big loads on the battery bank if you will. Uh, before I go into a lot about Verimax, I want to explain the timers to you and what happens. And in a normal battery bank, you have what's called bulk charge, where you start out at the beginning of the day with the batteries wherever they are. The sun comes out and we push all we can into the battery bank and we go up this hill trying to reach the absorbed set point. When we reach that absorbed set point, we start a timer and we flatline and we regulate the current to maintain the voltage and we go across for a duration of time. And this has been an industry standard way of charging batteries. When that timer expires or your ending amps is reached, we drop to float and we maintain float for the whole rest of the day. Uh, but this time has always been set solely on, say, two hours as an industry standard for a flooded lead acid battery. The problem with that is if a cloud happens to come by in that two hours or the well pump or the wash machine or whatever the load may be. When you live off grid like we do here, it's, it's real world. Things are always coming on, turning off, things are changing, clouds go by. So if that happens in the middle of that two hours, say 30 minutes into it, a cloud comes by or a hard load comes on and that load stays for 30 minutes and then after that load, it's almost like starting another absorb charge, if you will, on a regular battery because during that load, that may have dropped the batteries down enough that the first 30 minutes is now kind of erased, if you will. So when standard timers, the way it works, is that 30 minutes is still counted and we go back and we add another hour and a half on to get the two hours. What Verimax does is allows us to watch that time in the middle and it says, okay, if the current out of the classic is greater than this, we know the batteries are low. And if the voltage sags below the absorbed set point more than this, we know the, the batteries are low. So what it does, it allows us to actually run the timers backwards and offset that 30 minutes that we had in the beginning. And we could actually, you know, we can add, if that load is an hour long, it would add that hour back to the absorbed time. Now these parameters are completely programmable by you. There's a minimum and a maximum absorb time when Verimax is enabled, and these are hard limits. So if you're worried about it absorbing all day because the clouds are coming and going, you can still set a hard limit, which is the amount of time it will spend at the absorb voltage period. So with no further ado, I want to jump right into the classic menu, and I want to show you how to program Verimax. To do that, we need to go to the main menu, and you'll notice we're in miscellaneous. We really need to be in the charge menu. So we want to just repeatedly press the main menu button until we get the charge. I do want to stop and explain that Verimax is added around the last quarter of 2012 into the firmware of the Classic. Uh, it's somewhere after revision 1070 on Classic code. You can always consult the uh, website, the firmware tab, or you can visit our forum. And on there we have a whole list of what functions we added and when we added them into the firmware of the Classic. But Verimax was added about the fourth quarter of 2012. Now we're going to go into the charge menu by pressing enter. We need to get the charge time. We're going to use the right arrow, scroll to the right once, and then we're going to hit the enter button. Now we're in the charge timers, and I, I want to take a minute and just run you through these. This is the default settings you'll see out of the box. We have a two hour absorb time, and we have a one hour equalized time. And this is the time it will spend in absorb period. And right now we can go to the time review. Speaking of loads, you heard my fans come on behind me here. We have some loads running at the moment. We can see what we're actually targeting. We can hit it one more time for hours and seconds, and we can actually see the clocks counting if we were there. We are not in absorb yet, so the clocks are not counting, but this is what the targets would be. Once we hit absorb, that number would start counting down to expiration. Now I'll go back in and we'll show you how to use Verimax. You'll see over here, we have VMX for Verimax. We use the left soft key, upper left button, we hit enter. 101 amps, when you see 101 amps, that disables Verimax. So if you do not want to use Verimax, you just set it for 101 amps, that disables it, gives you one absorb timer and one absorb timer only. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick a number here. And in my case, I found about 25 amps is where I know if I'm pushing more than 25 amps into my battery, they're not full. No matter what the absorb timer says, the batteries are not full if I'm pushing 25 amps. So I'm going to set mine personally for 25 amps and about 1.4 volts negative offset. So I'm going to go ahead and set that and then I'll explain it to you. So now we're going to scroll down to 25. There we go. Use the right arrow to go over and set my negative offset. And in my case, like I say, I want about 1.4. I'll stop there. I'll hit enter. Now we've saved those parameters for Varimax. I want to back up one screen to the timers. Now you'll notice I have a minimum and a maximum time, like I explained earlier. In my case, I want the minimum to stay two hours, and I want my maximum to be five hours. I found that in my case, these are, you know, good numbers for me. I cannot do any damage to my batteries in five hours. You know, there's no worries there. These are numbers that I'm really happy with and I found them to work very well. Oh, let me get to five. Let me save that. Oh, five hours and one minute. Ah, I'll fix that. There we go. We'll save that. So now, I want to go back and I want to recap what we've done. We've set up Verimax. What's going to happen now is my batteries are going to start to fill in the bulk cycle. They're going to hit the absorb time. It's going to regulate, try to maintain that absorb, that absorb voltage for a period of time. If it stays in absorb right from the beginning, it's going to go for two hours, drop into float for the rest of the day. If something happens in the middle of that absorb time to drop it out of absorb, if it drops it more than 1.4 volts, which in my case, I have my absorb voltage set for 59.2. If it drops it more than 1.4 volts below that 59.2 and is putting more than 25 amps into the battery, we know the batteries are not full. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the counters go the other way, count backwards to offset that time that we fell out of absorb. So if you can picture that, we can come up, you know, we'll go up the hill in bulk, we spend 30 minutes in absorb, let's say, a load or a cloud comes by and drops us 1.6 volts. Now we're into Verimax territory, but we're still putting 30 amps into the battery. So this goes along, say this goes along for 30 minutes, what has happened now is those counters have counted backwards the 30 minutes to offset the first 30 minutes of absorb because we know they don't count, because we know by the current and the voltage that the batteries are not full. And now when the sun comes back up or the load goes away, we will start counting forward again and we'll spend that two hours in absorb. We'll go to float. This concludes setting up Verimax on your classic charge controller. Any questions on Verimax, please feel free to get a hold of us here at customer service at Midnight Solar. Until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar.